All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I'm going to be doing a video on the new Guild Quest and my thoughts on it. I did only go over the rewards, but I figured I would just redo the video and go over everything in terms of, like, how I like it, what I don't like about it, etc., etc. So comment down below, what do you think? In my opinion, I like the difficulty. I like that you can't jump in and soul bomb. That's one thing I didn't go over in my last video because it makes NAD range characters or just NAD characters much better apparently the spawns are also like guaranteed so therefore or they are guaranteed where they spawn in you don't have to like change you know like you don't have to reset even though i guess if you want a really fast score you probably want to reset in order to, in order to like proc status elements more effectively but that's besides the point um nuking characters i think have a bit less value i don't think they're useless because you still have to like nuke the final wave because he has 81 million hp 81 million HP. I saw Aaron Arrows, uh, Nuke, uh, Ichigo, you know, maximum standard, 5-5, five, five, all that jazz. Uh, Three-star SP. Uh, he nuked about half of the Ichigo's final HP. So he did like 40 or 50 million damage about. So that's an insane amount of damage. How long would it take for a NAD character or a regular SP character to, to do 40 million damage? Obviously, they're still much needed. They're, they're still very good. Uh, I like the difficulty. I like that it's difficult because uh, very hard was getting a bit too easy. I think the only week that I didn't like sub five was the, was it a Spada? It might've been a Spada. I can't remember. There was like one week that I just could not like do very well. It was like a 15 second clear and I just gave up. But e e either way, um, let's just quickly hop into the rewards. I wish I could, I'll probably just throw some gameplay in the background from my stream. Uh, it's it's pretty rough if you cannot clear hard don't even attempt very hard there's just like no point to be honest you have like 60 seconds mate no i think it's 70 70 seconds and every single time you kill a wave there's like a three second counter before you can attack the next one so you can't jump in and solve them you have to clear each wave each goes amazing because he like paralyzes everybody and then the ad character can mop up uh that's basically what i did but let's go over the rewards and why I think that the guild quest is not as good unless you guarantee to clear all five waves. I already calculated or like looked over all the rewards and I like that you can just do it one time a week and you're set, you know, that way if you're a very busy person, uh, you, you, you get it guaranteed, you know, you like your, your ranking, your point ranking should be a one time thing. What I don't like is that you don't get rewards for clearing it every single time so you know how i would clear it get no orbs you clear it again maybe you get 10 orbs that dopamine it's like oh my god no way i got 10 orbs i gotta go again go again you get five orbs boom 15 that is almost as much as your entire phase of orbs you get 15 or uh, 20 orbs per phase and then some potions some tickets whatever whatever it doesn't matter those are irrelevant. Nobody cares about those rewards. They're nice, but nobody calculates that. Nobody cares. The fact that you only get 20 orbs per phase, so 40 orbs per phase, if you beat all five waves, which I cannot unless I have a max on set of Tokinata. Uh, I was trying the Rose. I was trying 60 eyes on Tokinata and Ichigo. I got to the third and fourth boss every single time. I, I, I couldn't get it. This one, I ended up getting to the fifth boss, but still, it was just rough. Because you need your characters with more than 4,500 attack. Because they have 4,500 defense, apparently. And that's how it works. And even with this, where I have more attack, more attack, more attack. I still can't get anywhere close to it. It is absolutely unfortunate. Maybe once they add the thing where you can add like bonus characters. And they can give attack on their links. Then maybe it would be much, much more attainable. Which maybe that's what they're going for. I don't know yet. But either way... These characters just don't do enough, and she's 5-5. Five five. She, she's literally 5-5. Five five. I didn't do this, but still, that's not 500 more attack that I would have gotten. Like, my character just can't do it. It's unfortunate that you need a max transcending character to in order to do enough damage to actually be able to clear it. Um, but yeah, and then the rewards... I, I, I'm just not a fan of. I'm a fan of the guaranteed rewards, the 50 orbs. That's very cool. I like that, that it's a guaranteed set piece. If I'm not, if I'm wrong though, unfortunate, but I'm pretty sure 
I'm in A rank right now, I would get 50 orbs, one four five star ticket, one four five star accessory ticket, and then one essence scroll. Unless these are actual like guaranteed five stars accessory tickets, it's an L. I don't care for one ticket, my guy, after a week. That is useless. Make it 10, to be honest. Um, essence scrolls, I love. I wish there were large scrolls in here, like 10 of each large scroll, something. I need, I'm always desperate for large scrolls. I would gr I would greatly appreciate them. But then you go to B rank, it's uh, 10 orbs. Yikes. Uh, S tier is 100 orbs, but who on the right earth is getting there? Like insane i would love to get that many orbs per week which is why i think that that change is good but if you're not in an insane guild who's not consistent this is irrelevant because you're gonna be in like b or hot or low a most likely because my entire guild except for like one or two people clear every single week those one or two people just never do it because you know they get busy or something or they just don't want to play the game and so this is where this guild quest system would come into handy but the problem in my opinion, is that the rewards are negligible. These rewards suck. These point rewards are awful. 20 orbs. You get 20 orbs for clearing all five waves. All five waves. It's just a bit underwhelming. Um, now, I understand, yes, I think that the one score thing, if you, have, if you clear all five waves, you should be done for the phase. But I think you should still be able to participate, use your other tickets, and get the or get the randomized rewards from the old guild quest. If they did that, I think it would be fine, it would be an overall W, and then that way, you wouldn't have to only clear very hard in order to get rewards. Because I cleared hard, and I got like, I think it was 40 million points if I'm not mistaken, um, I think that's how many points it gives, I could be wrong, and I'll flash it up on screen right now, how many rewards I got on stream, or how many points. If you can only clear hard, I can't clear very hard. So it, I'm getting less rewards. And I only get it one out of three days. I don't get anything else. Yeah, everybody in chat is saying the rewards are awful. And Aaron Arrow Stream. It's just such an L. It's such an L. I like the difficulty. I hate the reward system. I think it's stupid. I like the guaranteed rewards. I like that you only have to do it one time a week and actually nuke. And then the rest you can just like whatever. Like let's say you don't have time. You don't have to. But if you want to and you want the extra rewards. You should be able to go and use those tickets to get them. I just don't see why they limited that hard. Um, I do like the point of invincibility mobs. I, I, I do like that. It makes it so you can't just sub one. Because it's not really based off your time anymore. I don't believe. Like your points kind of are. So you know you're. You have to actually like, try a bit more. Um, you have to like time your strong attacks and whatnot with the invincibility mobs. But overall, I just... I prefer the old system because, one, it was easier. So that way, more people would be able to get the rewards. You don't need a fully maxed and sended team. And, you know, you got more rewards in the long run, which is kind of just disappointing. But, uh, yeah, that's my little rant. Comment down below what you guys think. Hopefully, you guys have an amazing day. And, uh... Yeah, take care.